Hey guys and girls, I'm back. Uh, this time I'm going to be introducing you to an application which is free. Free, 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 free. Eight out of ten dentists agree. Free is better. Yes, I know some of you weren't very happy with the paid application previously. So this one's not going to cost you a penny. Actually, it saved me some money because I've refunded a few programs that did the same, but not as well. So what am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about an application that allows you to use your favorite AI, be it GPT-4, ChatGPT, Bing, Bard, Cloud, and have it run on any website or PDF at a click of a button. What brilliant program is this, I hear you ask? This is usechatgpt.ai. So first off, I'm usually not too fond on companies using the word ChatGPT within their own brand name because we all know there's gonna be some problems down the road. But something told me to try this out. FYI, this video is not sponsored. And I don't even know how I stumbled on this. I think it was just recommended to me in Google. But I've reached out to the company who are US based and uh, they've kindly told me some very useful information about the program. Punch that like button, hit subscribe, forget about your responsibilities and let's jump in. So let's get started. So use chatgpt.ai is the domain name for now. And uh, so hop over there and then you just punch the add to Chrome. It's free button right at the top. On the site, they've got a little nifty video that teaches you how to use the application, not that you need it. And so examples of things it can do. It can do a fair bit. Already awarded number one product of the week on Product Hunt, awesome. I myself will give them an upvote. So what can this actually do? So if I hold down Command J on my keyboard, uh, we've got the little interface which pops up. So here, I'm sure you all know by now, we've got temperature, which shows you how creative or precise you want it to be. I, I like my content to be accurate rather than made up, so I, I stick with precise. And then we can choose our favorite AI provider. So let's have a look. So we've got ChatGPT, which we all know and love. Open AI, API, I'm using my own API key for this so I can use GPT-4, GPT-4. Oh, what is that? Okay, um, free AI. So this is basically using their API key, uh, but it's for a limited time. So I think they give you a couple of weeks for free and then you get more free time with referrals, but we don't really need that because we've got our own ChatGPT accounts or open AI API keys ourselves. Additionally, we've got Bard, come on here. I do like the way the text appears suddenly rather than having to watch it type out, but not not yet. And Bing, whew, not since they killed off my dear Sydney. They killed her to get to me. Uh, so I won't be going back there for some time. And Cloud, I've heard very good things about Cloud. I'm not sure if I'm butchering the name, Cloud Claude. Um, but personally, I normally stick with OpenAI, API, but whatever floats your boats, really. Okay, so what can it do? So here I am in my Gmail, which I don't often use, but for the benefit of this, I will. So let's say I'm writing an email for a job. There we go. Writing to express my interest in social media and content lead position. Um, so just like other applications, we can highlight it. And then we've got the little twinkly doodah star down here and we can do improve writing. Um, then we just get a nicer version. Additionally, we can highlight it and we get our little symbol here again, and then we can change the tone, simplify the language, paraphrase, make shorter. So the usual stuff that you'd expect to see in an application, but usually a paid application. I suppose this is in a way paid, but having your own API key is so minuscule for the payments that I'm just going to refer to this as free. So most of these are self-explanatory, but where the strength comes in is if we hop over to the little cog for settings and edit custom prompts, we get taken over to the settings page. So this is where you can write your own prompts for your own needs. And then they get saved to the short bar and then you can just use them on a web page or in a Google Docs or on an email. So they are kind of spoken custom to your own needs. So rather than improve writing, you could say improve writing for prompt news. Or if you want to be a sneaky sneaky, you could say rewrite this article, but change the company name to prompt news, add URLs. As an example, one of my clients I used it for, I have a prompt, 
So write a product page based on this information. So obviously I'm going to highlight the information. Then I will use this prompt. Uh, write it in British English because I am in the land of the Brits. Uh, the product is a rain screen cladding system. La di da di da. And I mentioned the H2 tags should be for the titles. Uh, this saves me having to do it manually. And around 1,000 to 200 words. Because it's very robotic if it has exactly 1,200 words for every single product description. So I give it a variation for it to choose from. Just going through the other options, we can change the shortcut key that we use, but command J is fine for me. Appearance, you can go light or dark side. Ah, oh, my eyes! <laughs> Output language, which is a very useful feature if English is not your native tongue. Um, chat GPT stable mode, not too sure what this is actually. I might dive into that a little bit later. PDF viewer, you need to turn that on. That gives it permissions to view the PDF. Uh, I'll just show you actually. So let's open a new tab. Let's find a PDF that I had. So I've got my new tab, I've got a PDF, just drag that in. And now I can use this. Um, uh, so let's highlight that text and then I can do whatever I want to manipulate it, copy it, change it, tweak it, improve it. Right, going back, uh, you have your API key. Just check it. Okay, yeah, good. You don't see it. Text select pop up so you can get to see that little tooltip that we were viewing earlier. Custom prompts, that's where the magic is. And your Gmail assistant. Once again, you can turn that on and off whether you want it there or not. So as mentioned, I did get in touch with this company. I spoke to a lovely guy from Mark from the US. I asked him about monetization. So right now the service is free and they hope to keep these core elements completely free. Eight out of 10 dentists agree. Uh, but they are looking at other ways to perhaps monetize it. This would be using their API key if you didn't have one. Also document training uh, is an area which I'm interested in and also they're interested in. Uh, and they said this could be an element where they could monetize. Uh, but this is not the core agenda for them right now. They just want to build a community and build a tool that we all love and will find useful, really. Oh. They did ask me, though, to tell you guys that they are actively seeking user feedback and are looking to make continuous improvements. So give it a try and say goodbye to your paid tools, because honestly, this one I feel is a lot better than some of the paid ones I actually have. I'll keep this a quickie. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe again. And I'll see you next time. Alex out.